So I have gone wild. I have gone on the wild side. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. <clears throat> so I went browsing a coach and I got a bag. So let's get into it. So this is the bag that I got something that is low maintenance, something that is fun, something that is affordable, and something that is handheld because I'm sort of in that phase right now. And this checks all my boxes. So this is the Coach Willow 24. There are four sizes in this Willow bag line. And this is the smallest size. And then the next one is a coach bucket bag and then the coach shoulder bag. And then there's a tote bag, which is a typical to coat, a tote. But let's get back to this little beauty. These comes in just regular plain leather print, or it comes with the fun print right now. They have this and they have the leopard. And oh my gosh, I could not decide between this or the leopard. Like, you know, leopard is the brown and the black. It also goes with everything. This is black and white. It also goes with everything. I don't know. I just couldn't decide. I think they're both fun in their own way. But I really couldn't decide. Even now, I can't even decide. I can't even tell you which one I like more. Let me show you an accessory that is in the leopard print so you know what I'm talking about. So the leopard print that I was mentioning is, it looks like this. So imagine this bag in this leopard print. I cannot decide which print I wanted more. Like, I mean, this is just as fun, right? I can't decide. I am also on the fence of getting the leopard print as well. So as you know, this is the smallest size in this line. And I believe it's about nine and a half by seven and three fourth and about four and a half inch width three, let's do a 360 tour of this bag before we get into the inside of the bag and what i really like about this bag so as you can tell it does come with a little hang tag but i don't really i'm not gonna leave this on it's just i'm not an, i'm not an accessory person like that so I'll be taking that off. So it has a top handle. It also has a cross body strap that is adjustable as well. This is what the side looks like. It sort of goes out, taper outside here and sewn. And I think it's really interesting because that makes it look so different. And it's the same on both sides. This is what the tag looks like. This line also comes with little metal feet. There's two lines here, it's reinforcement when they sew these metal feet on. And these two little hooks here are for your crossbody strap, which I will take off. I just want to show you before I disassemble this. Here is the pull tab up close. It says Coach New York. Nice and big and thick. This doesn't have any other slip compartments. It is only three compartment bag. The magnets seems very strong. So that's good. The interior of the middle compartment fabric line and with the coach name all over as you can see from the front here it does have a lock closure and then it opens to the one side this is the turn lock and you can see the name there's also the the mechanism also says coach and the other side is a magnet tie. 
but on the other side of the middle compartment it was black leather and then they have the middle pocket which is a zip pocket and the zipper is very smooth this multi compartment is why i love this willow line the organization is already in there you don't really need to use many little pouches and i like that the, the middle compartment is sewn all the way at the bottom of the bag where so the compartments are actually separated not like the coach outlet version they call the molly tote where it's not sewn into the bottom of the bag so therefore your things will be mixed when it moves around so that's what i really like about this organization part where it's separated and you, you, where you put things you would know because depending if you put it in the the lock version or the magnetized version so it's easy to also find your things as well the whole coach willow bag line is all laid out like this kind of compartments it has a coach heritage or information tag inside a bag and you can see the color blocking difference is burgundy and black and also by the way this entire bag is lined in leather except for the middle part here where it is lined in a fabric so that's the only part where you have to be a little bit more high maintenance this bag this particular bag is made in the Philippines as well. And I also like this, the fact that it does not have the branding all over the place. I mean, it has one there. And then, and then it has another one in the back. So it's a very much a quiet luxury kind of look to it. I'm not quite sure what leather they use here, but it's very structured. It's still movable, but it's also very structured compared to the Willow shoulder bag. It's, it's very movable. So I'm just going to remove this tag and the wrapping on the strap. So I've removed the strap from the bag. This is what the strap looks like it a black strap i thought it was going to be burgundy to match the interior of the bag but it is not it is adjustable and you can make it shorter or longer and it is in the lobster clasp and i believe and on the clasp it does says coach on it i don't see myself using this bag as a crossbody, even though you know it comes with one i only like it in the top handle so i'm just gonna leave the strap as is and here is the bag without all of its attachment let's see what we can fit in here so the first thing i'm gonna have in my bag is probably gonna be this wristlet from the holiday collection is in the color metallic cherry so it's kind of red but kind of burgundy mar maroon to be exact you probably already seen this it is very thin and it has two card holder in here with a wristlet so what i intend on doing is put, i'm going to put my cards in here and i'm going to put it in the bag and in the event that you know you're going somewhere quick or like gas stations or something where you don't want to bring your whole bag you just want to grab a, something small with your cards and that fits your phone so this definitely fits my iphone 13 pro no problem so this is why i'm gonna put this in here since i'm not gonna use this like all the time i'm gonna put it in the turn lock compartment just because that's going to be the compartment of things that i'm not going to readily use all the time so i'm going to put this in there so that's what it looks like with just the wristlet so lots of room the wristlet can also the, this wristlet can also stand inside this bag vertically like this 
and it's the perfect height for this bag but you cannot close the turn lock if that's the case if you want to have it standing up so i'm just going to have it standing horizontally and it's fine the next thing i'm going to have in the bag is going to be this dior cosmetic case i think i got this from like a beauty set or something like that and what i like about this one is the interior is has this coating of this plastic on it so it's definitely very good for cosmetics if anything happens to spill or lipsticks or whatnot you, you can just wipe it away you can just wipe it so that's why i really like this case and this has my and here i carry some fragrance sample i have my lip balm i have a mini charlotte tilbury pillow talk lipstick and i have a chanel lip gloss in the color 712 it's basically like a clear shimmer lip gloss and i use this several times a day so i'm gonna put it in the magnetized compartments just because that's easier to go in and out so that's what it looks like this magnet is so strong it just bounces back the next item i'm gonna have is this leopard half flap card case from coach as well at least i have something in the leopard print right to enjoy but what i'm gonna use this for is i'm gonna use this for my airpods it fits in here no problem this one also has cards slots as well as another slot in the back so i if i have extra like gift cards or something i can definitely put it in there and i feel like i don't use my airpods like you know in and out all the time every day i'm gonna put it in the turn lock compartment i'm gonna have it horizontally like this The next item that I have is this Stasher sandwich bag. And this is a special edition with the butterfly on them. And it's clear. It's for sandwich, but you can use whatever you want with it. Right now, I just have my gift card in there, but I will put it in my leopard little thing. But I just want to show you the size. If you are not, if you don't carry much, in your bag in this bag but you carry a, a sandwich for lunch or snack or whatever you can definitely fit that so i will show you what it fits like in one of the compartments the sandwich bag is too tall and it will block this turn lock so you can't use it so it's in the back but it is also obviously it's the same size the front or the back it doesn't protrude out of the bag it is also blocking the magnet part as well just like it is on the turn lock but in the back on the magnet size you can lift this flap up and over and it will magnetize and close and then another thing that i just want to show just for size wise is this little notebook it's this friend's notebook that i've got for christmas I just want to see how it fits in this bag so if you put it standing up like this it will protrude out of this bag that's how much taller it is and you definitely can't lock it let's turn it the other way the other way it does lie down nicely underneath the bag but it is also gonna be in front of the lock so that little notebook does fit in the back compartment it doesn't protrude out of the bag and I still have my cosmetic bag in there I have that sandwich in there and with all that stuff in there I don't feel like it's very heavy I love carrying a top handle bag and it's a good weight right now 
this is a small capacity and it is small some medium size item will fit in here but as much as nothing bigger than this little notebook and that's all it fits basically i can also put my cards in the middle here and i this middle compartment is quite padded so and that's where i'm going to put my iphone 13 iphone in here and it will fit no problem i'm sure you can fit even like an iphone 15 pro max in here i feel like the two compartments on the side take up most of the space and therefore what you put in here won't fit much and if you put anything bulky the zipper is not going to be able to zip up in a straight line it will zigzag and i'm not quite sure how you know you like your zipper to look like but i like mine to be straight when it's zipped up i'm probably not going to use that i'm probably just going to put a card holder and my phone here in the middle and that's all that basically you can carry i think this is such a good small capacity size bag it's small but it's not too small it's not a micro bag it's not a mini bag you can fit at least your phone in here i like the print just because i chose a fun print but it also comes in just a plain print if that's what you like more i like the top handle i like low maintenance that it's not lined with fabric is lined with leather that's fine by me i can just wipe anything clean i love that it comes with feet it, i love that it also has the capability of doing crossbody shall you need it so all in all i do think this is a good bag but it really depends what you want to carry for me 99 percent of the time this is more than enough there are a few occasions that I want a little a bit bigger bag, but most of the days, this is what I would carry. I actually don't even carry a notebook half the time. I just have it just for size references. But generally, I only have my phone, some lip gloss, my purse or card holder, um, AirPods. Yeah, that's pretty much all I carry. But I don't like the mini bag trend just because if I can't even fit my phone in there, what's the purpose? I find it so annoying if I have to have my phone in my pocket, in the back of my pocket or in my jacket or whatever. I just like everything to be in one place that I know. I like the compartments and organization of this bag because this bag has different opening, comp opening mechanisms. I find that it's easy to tell where you put your things. Like, like I said, for an example, things that I don't use a lot, I will put it in the turn lock side of it. So if I need something that I don't use a lot, I know exactly where to go. And then the things that I use all the time, my lip gloss or my phone or my keys, I will probably put them in the magnetized part. And I'm, if I need my keys, I know exactly which compartments to reach for. And then if, again, if I want to use my phone in the middle here exclusively, I know exactly where my phone is. And if it's not there, then it's lost. So I love, that's another, and so that's another pro that I love about this bag. Moving on to the cons, some of the things that I don't like is the fact that I, the two compartments on the side are made to be bigger and not as thin as the one in the middle so if you put anything bulky it, it will mess up with the zipper and i don't really like that so i don't like that aspect of it but it's it is what it is the other things that i don't really like is i do like the look of this don't get me wrong but i feel like i should be able to bend the handle just because when you have it on a crossbody it doesn't look it doesn't look the most flattering just because you, you have it on your crossbody and you have something sticking up. But, but that being said, I do like the crossbody. I do like the way it looks compared to the other willow in its line where it's bendable.
I like that it's very different. It kind of concaves out and so is the bottom. I think it just looks very chic as well as different and fun and young. So I hope this little impressions and review is helpful if you have this if you are somebody who's deciding which size to get it's kind of hard to tell when you buy online you know you can't really visualize what would fit and what wouldn't fit but now that i do have it and i have things in it i feel like if you don't carry a lot the smallest size is good if you carry a little bit more, then you might want to go with the shoulder bag. I hope you've enjoyed this video and until the next one. Bye everyone.